For this video, let us talk about the aims of research. So what are the aims of research? If research is said to be a systematic, a controlled, and an empirical and critical investigation, what is it trying to do? The first uh, aim of research is to generate new knowledge. Um, we ha already have an existing, uh, a rich, a rich and existing uh, bank of knowledge. Tama ba yung sequence? Yeah. I am not sure, but this bank of knowledge that we have has been uh, the work of so many scientists in the past and actually even in the present. Um, notice that uh, with the advent of uh, if, with the advent of uh, things uh, around us, say uh, currently COVID nineteen, um, wala tayong ganong alam about it. That's why um, we need to conduct new researches. We need to generate new uh, new information, new knowledge that will help us understand more. What is this virus that we are dealing with? What is this sickness that we are dealing with? Uh, marami tayong mga nakita mga uh, basic researches uh, na nag-generate ng bagong knowledge and because of uh, because of these basic researches we now know what to more or less do to treat people who were infected by COVID-19 um, more or less yeah kasi wala pa naman tayo talagang definite treatment but at least um, we have an idea now um, now um Creating the treatment for you know, COVID-19 based from those researches, uh, generate, generating new knowledge, is the second aim of research, which is to find an application for that knowledge. It's not just it's not enough to know that uh, it is a virus. We need to know how uh, we need to know how are we going to control it. We need to know how are we going to combat it, or how are we going to uh, fight the symptoms. So that is the the second uh, aim of research. Um, how can we use that knowledge to create uh, something, to, uh, to apply it to create something? So say uh, vaccines, um, say um, tried and tested ways of treating people, or even actually drugs, actual drugs, na pwedeng makapaggamot ng mga, ng mga pasyente who were st uh, struck by COVID-19. That is a second aim of research. Um, we need to create something out of what we already know. So... The first aim and the second aim are, are, you know, they are highly connected to each other. The third aim is to verify existing knowledge. So, yeah, our examples is still our knowledge regarding COVID-19 research about it. Um, verifying existing knowledge, how does it happen? Uh, so, say for instance, we have had these basic researches that describe uh, the various, various age groups na, and their levels of, ano, in, in, of infection. Yung probability ng infection that is generating new knowledge uh, in terms of age. Uh, and then we, we are still trying to figure out ways how are we going to create, say, uh, programs or policies that will make sure that those age uh, groups who are uh, said to be vulnerable based from the generated knowledge uh, policies that will um, keep those who are, who are vulnerable away from danger. Um, but as time uh, went by, we had a verification of that uh, piece of knowledge kasi parang hindi naman siya 100% exact that just because a particular research had I mean, uh, gave that information, it doesn't mean that it's always uh, true. And we had several other researches that tend to uh, give us uh, substantial information that uh, yung mga nasabing vulnerable are actually as vulnerable as those na sinabing hindi naman vulnerable. So, what I mean is, the third aim of research tends to do this, uh, this counter-checking, updating of the generated knowledge of the first theme of research okay because that is what we need to know, what we need to do another example for this siguro is the use of um what am what can we think of uh yeah the use of uh, med medications not all medications are created the same so say for instance in treating the country in treating cough you know simple ganyan ganyan lang um, the, the first time that they were ano, that they were in treatments, the first time that they were um, put into being, um, they were said to be very I mean hundred percent effective. However, as time went by, uh, we were we were able to see that uh, may mga tao pala na hindi pa ding magtik ng ganitong klase antibiotics. That's why we have so many antibiotics because uh, um, some people uh, they tend to 
have allergic reactions. So, um, because of verifying um, verify verifications of knowledge, we got the no exemption. So, who can take certain antibiotics? So, some naman um, are more crucial. Say, for instance, cancers. Um, yung mga dating beliefs natin about it, they are being verified by consistent research. Even actually COVID-19. So, um, yung mga dati, yung mga nauna nating mga um, room, yung mga naunang rumors about it, say, yung pagiging airborne niya, gano siya ka-airborne, yung levels of airborne-ness, yung gano'n niya. At first, we had this description already, pero because of sub- of subsequent uh, and uh, actually numerous researches, uh, those that followed the first uh, the first researches, we got to understand more. How is it transmitted from one person to another and uh, what are the best w- best ways so far to control it hopefully uh, by uh, i mean by the next months we would be able to um, find the vaccine and that uh, that vaccine is going to be verified like uh, um, many times so that we would be, we are going to be sure that it's really safe it's safe for everyone so that's the third aim of research to verify existing knowledge the last one is to the, is to, the to develop the investigator so, this aim of research does not really um, uh, cover, does not really talk about research as a process per se. It doesn't talk about the uh, research output, the knowledge generated. No, it is talking about the actual investigator. So, because of these, this thorough and careful and systematic controlled empirical, that is evidence-driven uh, investigation, the investigator himself or herself is developing these characteristics that she needs to I don't know that that she, that she needs or he needs um to further um study to further his study or her study say curiosity um you know uh, it's really and you know, it's really important for investigators to be to, to be and stay curious um open mindedness so in terms of alimbawa the the um outcomes the results you mga na read nila mga results in their investigations uh, it is very important for the investigator himself to be open minded kasi pwedeng yung hypothesis niya is not really going to be ano it's not going to be the observed uh, outcome pwedeng malayo okay the researcher is also he, she, he or she needs to be um, skeptic as well. Hindi pwedeng basta lang siya niniwala. Like, he must also, he must always be empirical. Dapat may evidence lagi yung uh, pinaniniwalaan niya. So, that's it. For the aims of research, we are we have the following. So, the aims of research, the first one is to generate new knowledge. The second one is to find application for knowledge. And then the third one, to verify exist, existing knowledge. And the fourth one, to develop the investigator. Yeah.